Let me tell you, this week has been full of Jay Shetty for me. If you're not familiar who Jay Shetty is, he's a former monk in India, an author, a motivated speaker, and a host of the number one health podcast on purpose. This week, he released his second book called Eight Rules of Love, which I was so excited about, and I couldn't wait to get a copy right after work on the release date. And so far, it's amazing of this book. I loved it. And currently, I am on page sixty-five on rules two, which is chapter two. And so far, the main things that I took away from this book is how our family shape our values on love or romance, and how we should love ourselves first. Love is something that's very subjective. It often shaped by our surrounding through media, pop culture, our friends, family, and later on with our partner. From a very young age, when we are a kid, we observe love from our parents or the TV show that we watch, such as those early production of Disney Princess, that they're all like having some problems and they're all waiting for their prince Charmy to come and save them, which later on we reflected into our real life. We're all waiting for our soulmate, but there's no such thing as soulmate that the one that's like the perfect fit for you. We can only find a person that have the right energy and the right intention to match our values and intention. But before we get into any romance relationship, we have to love ourselves and learn about ourselves. Which is rule one in this book: let yourself be alone. Being alone doesn't mean being lonely. I think that's a phrase that we heard all the time now. Be comfortable just spending time with ourselves, and when we share that energy with someone else, we don't feel drained from it. And there's many ways that you can practice. Of how to be comfortable spending time with yourself. For example, cook your favorite meal for yourself. Going on a walk, go to a cafe, go to a theater and watch a movie, or even going on a solo trip. And I know this might trigger like the social anxiety. It's very important how we switch that fear in our head to like I am just spending time with myself, but it doesn't mean I'm lonely. I have like people that I can spend time with, but at this moment, I chose to spend time. With myself, because why? I love myself. And a practice that I use is like when I'm like outside, being by myself, I, and people are like giving me those weird looks. It's like, oh my gosh, she's like so lonely. Why she's like eating a meal in a restaurant by herself? But at the same time, it's like I will think like I am just living my best life and going through the experience that I want to do with myself. I don't care what other people think about me. And it's like I'm living my best life, okay. And I'm probably not gonna see your face ever again for the rest of my life. So why would I care of how you think of my current moment? Yeah. So that's my takeaway on the first two chapters of this book. I'm very excited for the rest of the book. I probably would do a full book review when I finish, but I'm not sure how long that would take me. But hopefully before the end of the month. So stay tuned for that book review. And on to the second things. Why my week has been full of Jay Shetty is because I joined the Jay Shetty Certificate School. It took me months to make up my mind before I enrolled to this program, but I feel like this is the right move for me, which is the next step towards to being a certified life coach. But I'm only a module one, and I will do more videos about that program once I'm further down into it. But so far, so good. And thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.